overview of how you help out with people that are battling addiction. And today we're shifting it to talk about athletes and really diving into that topic because it's unique what athletes go through. So welcome back to River City Live. Thank you for having me, Mark. And when it comes to someone who is an athlete, they just have really just different conditions all around. And it's one of those things that if they need help, what's the best route? How do you approach that? Well, I think with athletes, you are dealing with a certain um, level of performance. There, it's a celebrated culture, whether it's in high school or, or in college. And athletes are just uh, kind of celebrities, they're rock stars. And so they kind of have more leeway. People aren't keeping them as accountable. So it's really important for their coaches, for their parents, for their family to intervene if they're, if they're seeing problems, whether it be behaviorally, whether it be in school, whether they are missing practices. They're just showing signs that they're, they're dealing with something that could be an addiction, could be misuse of a drug or alcohol. And one of the things that I feel like with athletes, they, there's a lot of pride that goes into what they do. Mm -hmm. So a lot of times there might not be the self-awareness that they actually need help. And I think that's where it comes down to really family members and friends to identify what's happening. Absolutely. So I think, again, you want those people that love them, that support system that they have. And it can include their coaches because coaches are with them probably more than their family is. And so those are the people that need to kind of step in and say, hey, are you doing OK? Check in with them. Make sure that they're, you know, making their practices, making their schoolwork happen. Um, if there are issues that they're seeing on the play field, um, if they are anxious, if they seem depressed, all of those are warning signs. And you really want to intervene at that point before things get out of control. Now, when it comes to addiction, there's also different things that athletes might be exposed to maybe a drug that they were on because of pain or injury or something like that. Right. So what, what we've seen a lot with Lakeview Health is we see a lot of athletes who have been dealing with a lot of physical injuries, orthopedic injuries, knee, shoulder, you know, they're, they're in maybe a football setting and they're, they're getting a lot of concussions, et cetera. And so those are the types of folks that get, end up getting on pain meds because one of the things about football and true of most sports is that you're at a high level of performance. You just want to get back out there and you want to play at the best of your ability. So you don't want to be sidelined with pain or injury. And that's how a lot of the times they get facilitated back out on the field is they're given pain meds. And once that gets into their system and they get dependent on it, then it becomes an addiction. Not all the time, but a lot of the time. And then usually do you have to keep increasing the dose because your body builds an immunity? I guess it depends on what, but I feel like that right. is a common it's So great question. Um, yes, there's a lot of tolerance that builds up. So that just means you need more and more of the same, whether it's a drug or whether it's something else, to get that same effect. So that's where addiction builds from that tolerance. And one thing that's really unique about Lakeview Health when you talk about the special things that you do. Mm -hmm. So you guys are a partner of the NFL Trust. It's powered by the NFL Players Association. So right. can you just explain to the viewers sure. what exactly that is? So the NFL Players Association supports players that have played at least two seasons and they are retired and they support them with medical health, uh, behavioral health. They help them with um, financial issues if they're trying to go back to school or retrain and something. So it's a great program. It comes out of the NFLPA. And essentially with our partnership, we are one of their preferred providers if we're treating um, someone that's retired from the NFL who needs behavioral or addiction health. Yeah, so that's pretty unique that you guys do that. But one of the things that we just want to make sure that addiction, it comes at all levels, not just at the NFL. It right. could be somebody at the high school level. Exactly. It could be even younger than that, unfortunately. But it's right. one of the things we want to talk about with athletes. You know, it is truly unique on how it could be. Absolutely. Delivered. So with high school, and, and clearly we're entering the um, high school season, everything's starting back up, everyone's going back to school. So you have a lot of high school football players that are going to be going to practices and then they're going to be in games. And really, when you're in that age range, like 16 to 18 years old, that's where it can be really damaging to get on something that might hurt them, whether it be opiates, pain pills. Sure alcohol, even something else, because their brains are still developing and they're so vulnerable. Yeah. Well, thanks again for all your time and information. If Thank you, you want to learn more, you go to the website, which is lakeviewhealth.com, or simply give them a call at 904-531-3333. Stick around. More to come right after this.